We've discussed how to plan an event and run it. We've learned about how to pitch an event and even explored the structure of a pitch. So now, in this module, I'm going to teach you how to have the seats to your event filled. This involves promotion, which includes groundwork and online. First of all, how soon should we start promoting the event? Well, it depends on the expected turnout. For an expected turnout of 50 to 100 people, it's best that you start promoting at least three to four weeks prior. This is a principle that you should follow to be safe. Experts with a huge following and influence can do it in less time than that, of course. With their reach and influence, they're allowed to do it. However, there are other events like success resources that would start promoting three to six months prior, even though they are world-renowned. So, even if you're established, it's still a good idea to play it safe. Your promotion should start at least three to four weeks before the program. Remember, the bigger the expected turnout is, the earlier you should start promoting. What you'll need are promotional tools first. This includes posters, banners, graphics, emails, and flyers. All these are basics for promotion. You can get them from a graphic designer. For the posters, banners, and flyers, you'll need to print them way earlier than the start of the promotions so that you'd have room to make changes should you not feel happy with the graphics. Posters and banners should be up at the venue as soon as they are printed. Moving on to the next step, which is using the right tool to promote. The most accessible of all tools is, of course, social media. Social media presence is very important. So what you need to do first is to have an account in all major social media platforms such as Facebook and Twitter. Create a Facebook event page. It's free and it doesn't take a long time to prepare. A reason why you should use Facebook other than it being one of the most powerful communication tools available is that it can allow invited members to invite their friends and share the page. Also, with Facebook, your attendees can check the time and venue conveniently should you not have a website. You can also use the page to address any concerns from the attendees in the post updates. With Facebook, they're allowed to post and comment on posts on your wall, and it's imperative that you reply and communicate with them. An inactive Facebook page doesn't really make a good impression. On Twitter, open an account for your event. This is more about promotion than getting direct response for RSVPs or feedback like on Facebook event pages. So what you need to have for the Twitter account is basic information about your event, but most importantly, a hashtag. You need to come up with a short and recognizable hashtag such as, let's say your event's name is Internet Marketing with John Q. Your hashtag can be its acronym, which is IMJQ. This is so that it is memorable, and also, it doesn't take as much space for a tweet. With Twitter, you can still communicate with the audience, but it only allows 140 characters per post. This doesn't really give you the liberty to communicate well. What big companies usually do is that they move the communication from Twitter to emails, should there be complaints or concerns. Other than Facebook and Twitter, you can even use a mobile app to promote your event. For example, you can use Eventbrite. Not only can you use it to promote your event, but it also allows your attendees to purchase the event tickets via mobile and online. Eventbrite will charge a certain percentage to each ticket sale you make, but for the dependable service it provides, it's definitely worth it. And if your event doesn't have an entrance fee, then you can use Eventbrite to promote and get RSVPs for free. A promotional method that almost all events use, from a speaking engagement to an opera performance, is early bird pricing. You are, I'm sure, familiar with early bird pricing. It's what we look for whenever there's an event. Getting a lower price for an event ticket just for purchasing it early sure is a good deal. There is no reason for your event to not have an early bird pricing, even if your event is not as big as concerts or festivals. Having an early bird pricing gives the people a sense of urgency and the chances of making the sales are higher. You can set an early bird pricing by two stages, giving discount for early birds and standard pricing for the rest, or by a series of stages. For example, for 7 to 5 weeks early, the price for a ticket is $75. 
for five to three weeks early, the price increases a little bit to $90. For three weeks to the day of the event, the price is set to standard. You can also leverage on your sponsor for promotion. What you can do for them, especially for big organizations, is to write an invitation email to the event for the sponsor to send to their employees and everyone involved. Sponsors rarely will promote the event they sponsor except internally, between departments under them. Hence, you have to make it easier for them to promote by sending them a template email. You will learn more about sponsors and how to attract them in the next module. Your speakers are an instant leverage. Most likely, they have their own followers, especially if they're renowned and prominent. What you should do is get them to promote the event through their social media accounts such as Facebook and Twitter, and also on their website. Just like for the sponsors, as I've mentioned in the previous slide, you should make the promotion easier for them. You should send them the event poster or link to the event and all the other promotional tools that you've prepared so that the speakers can share them. For truly influential and renowned speakers, their reach might be bigger than yours. When you do the content for all the promotions, whether content for your website, Facebook posts, Twitter posts, and even emails, what you should remember is these magic words. Features tell and benefits sell. An event is all about the attendees and their experience. It's more about them than about the speakers or even you. And your promotions share about what the attendees will gain. Not only what will be taught, but mostly about what they will experience.